Hi, hello, hello, who's there? Hi, anyone joining for Pilates? Hello, hello. Hi, if you're just joining. Okay, sorry about that. Who is here? Who's joining us? This is six o'clock Pilates. We're gonna be um, doing a un a not a non-traditional Pilates sequence today. So we won't be following the the typical Pilates sequence. It's gonna be a little more creative. Can I, I want to make sure that everyone can hear me. I'm assuming that Insta can because I have some waves, but how about Facebook? Can you let me know, Facebook, if you can hear me? Thank you. Thank you, Insta. Thumbs up. How about Facebook? We're going to get started. And maybe just about one minute. No, um, you can hear me. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. All right, so maybe we'll give it just about one minute for some more to join us today. I'm gonna try a little bit of music. See how it goes. It's gonna be real light, hopefully. Maya! Hi! I miss you. Miss you. Okay, so, uh, once again, um, my name is Amy Winkler. I am the group fitness director at Eldersburg. And um, this is Pilates. You need a mat and Really just your yourself we're gonna do a non-traditional sequence today so it's gonna be different from the other Pilates classes um, I have been giving uh, if you want to start in the center of your mat sitting crisscross the legs across we'll start with a warm-up just got a little bit of music here All right, I'm gonna start off my mat since I'm um, close enough that I can see, still see if there's any action going on. But we'll start seated again, crisscross. I'm sitting up nice and tall, shrug the shoulders a few times, and then just let those shoulders be heavy down towards the ground. And we're gonna take your left arm up and reach over, a little outline of the head, come back and go to that same side two more times, one more time, and then switch sides. We'll go to the other side, over and down, over and down. Awesome, get back to that first side. Left one is gonna go up and over, and then you're gonna circle this around to the front and back over top, and then circle around to the front, one more time, over top, and circle. Let's go with the other side, right, and lean on the front. When you're leaning in front, exhale and pull your belly button backwards last time here. Arm goes down, take both of these hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, feeling a chest stretch here, right across the front. We wanna work on opening 
the heart, right? Stretching the chest. Chest muscles shorten a lot from forward posture, rolling their shoulders around forward and then release. All right, I'm gonna move back to my mat now on all fours. So come on all fours or tabletop. Right. Hands directly underneath of the shoulders and the knees directly underneath of the hips. So we'll start with a couple cat cows here. So exhale, draw your belly button up towards the spine and round through the spine, drop the head. Inhale as you completely reverse that, lifting the tailbone up to the ceiling, the chin up, and then do that again. Exhale and round that under. Inhale, reverse. And keep that going. Exhale and round it up. Inhale, flat. One more time. Exhale, round this up. And then down. Taking your legs back one at a time. And you're welcome to take this down to the elbows, right? If the elbow plank is better for you. Any issues with the wrist, go ahead and drop down to those elbows. Also have the option to come down to the knees. We're still in a little warm up phase here. So that's why a plank is good for warming up because we use a lot of different muscles. Press the floor away from you. Squeeze your glutes in the back and contract your quads. That's pulling the kneecaps up the front of the thighs. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, come up into down dog. Just holding for a second there, and then back to your plank. So we're gonna do a little seesaw here. Exhale to down dog, inhale to plank. Find a little bit of length in the hamstrings and the calves. One more time. And down. All right, hold right here. If you're on your elbows, right, you can stay there. If you're on your hands, stay there. We're gonna bring one knee through and in, right? So if you're on your hands, this is gonna be less steps, right? So we'll take a step front to get a stretch. Right, if you were on your elbows, come to your knee, then lift yourself up and bring the foot through. And then we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. Big step through. Pressing the mat away from you. Option to put this back knee down. No worries. Okay, let's step back into our plank, whether we got the elbows or the palms. I just said that reverse. And then we're gonna take one leg, lift it, squeeze the glute, and then switch sides. Lift and squeeze, switch sides. Keep up with that lift and squeeze, switching sides. I need to move this back just a little bit. Sorry about that. Keep squeezing and lifting and then hold. Drop your knees down to the mat. Separate your knees out to the sides and sit yourself back in the child's pose here. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Take your fingertips like spiders walk those fingers away from you. This will help you get a stretch on the lats, right? That's the part that's underneath of the armpits. Another commonly tight muscle, hold that there, right? That contributes to that rounded posture. Walk the fingertips away just one more time, a little further. And then inhale yourself up to your tabletop and go ahead and turn over onto one side and keep coming on around the knees are bent, feet on your mat, knees are bent, gently pressing the legs together, arms are out to the sides, super slow. We're gonna curl down all the way to the bottom of the mats. Here. Okay, so you wanna make sure, I try to get my ponytail high, but you wanna make sure that you don't have anything on the back of your neck, right? Preventing it from laying flat on your head, right? We don't want the, ch the chin pushed way under, and we also don't want the chin pushed way up. Just rock side to side for a quick sec. And then we're gonna do our little breathing practice here. Hands are at the sides. 
You're gonna take an inhale and then exhale. Open mouth, exhale, right? Like you're singing and you're really getting all the way to the end of the breath that you have. So exhale. When you're at the end of that exhale and you think that you're ready to take the inhale, couple short finished breaths. So we'll exhale and then blow a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. When you're at the end, blow more. Feel how your belly button, do that again, and feel how the whole middle contracts, right? When you get to that last bit, when you're trying to still talk and you're breathing, it's kind of silly, but still, it gives you that, the feeling that you need here in the middle, right? Breath in and exhale. And a little bit more. You just feel how the ribs go in, right? They contract, they bite down, I call it. Take the legs all the way out. Arms are gonna reach up over top of the head. Draw your bellies in, squeeze the knees, the ankles together. Nice big inhale here. Then you're gonna exhale, lift the shoulders off the ground, look through, right? Make a window with your arms and look, look through, right? The shoulders are lifted and then drop the back down. We'll do that again. Inhale, exhale, shh, look through and drop down. This time go a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, look through and then down. Inhale, exhale, a little bit higher and then down. If you need some help with this one, take your hands underneath of your low back and continue. Inhale, exhale, lift up, maybe about halfway and then back down. Squeeze the knees and the ankles together. Again, lift up, use the hands if you need to. A little bit higher yet and slow down. Inhale, exhale, let's go all the way up and over. Reaching for those feet, reach for the feet, pull the belly button backwards. So we're going two different directions here. The arms and the shoulders are reaching front and the belly button is reaching back behind you. Imagine you got a little seat belt right across the hips and then slowly bring it back down. Inhale and exhale, up and over. Reach, stretch the hamstrings and back down. Let's do two more like that. Inhale and exhale. If you're finding that you need a little help on the way down, use the hands on the way down. No worries. Right? You want to make sure. Do what's right for you and for your body. Let's do one more of those. Feels nice. Get in a stretch in the hamstrings. Exhale. And then. All right. Big reach over here. And then bring the arms back overhead to flat on the floor. Bend your knees and resituate, reshift that pelvis. Take a big breath here. Inhale and exhale, and as you do, get to the end, and blow out a little bit more. Pull it in and hold, and then we'll bring the knees, lift them up in towards the chest. You wanna take a look here, make sure the knees are over top of the hips. Right now at this time, we're not bringing the knees in close to the body, but we're gonna keep them out. That keeps more tension across the middle one leg at a time, bend it, tap your toe, and pull back to the hip. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Focusing on the part of the body that's not moving, so that will be our core, our powerhouse. As the legs move, we're keeping it real still and steady, and draw them in tight. Inhale and exhale. One more each side, inhale, and the other side. Both legs at the same time. Inhale as you go down and tap. Exhale, pull it in further this time, Plast the hips, try to get in towards the chest. Inhale and exhale, pull in, getting past the hips. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take this all the way down, feet to flat. Your knees are slightly apart and heel distance, a comfortable distance from the glutes and the hands, right? 
draw the belly button in. So like you're gonna take your belly button and push the spine down so it smushes into the mat. That already starts the process of lifting the pelvis up. And so then you're just gonna follow with the pelvic lift for the bridge. Slowly take it down. Think about one vertebrae at a time, articulating it down and the same way up. Draw the bellies in, engage the pelvis leads up to the top and then slowly let it down, same thing. Keep going, bring it in and lift, squeeze and down. All the time, keep going with that up and down, articulating the spine, right? So we're rolling it up, rolling it down, rolling it up, rolling it down. Hi guys, keep going. A couple more times on that bridge. Next time you get up there, let's hold it at the top. Keep my notes, make sure we're getting rolling here. Hold it at the top here and walk your shoulder blades in together. <sighs> Lift your heels off of the mats and then drop. Lift and drop. So remember, we're doing non-traditional sequence today. So a little bit of different order than we have been doing. Two more. Lift, one more, and lift. Awesome, roll the spine down, roll it, roll it, roll it. And bring both knees into the chest. Real big hug here, a little rock side to side. Gonna work on our double leg, double leg, right? So keep them. Let's back it up. So options, right? To do one leg at a time. Extend one leg out. So instead of dropping it towards the floor, we're gonna drop it out away from the body. Bring that in and switch to the other side. Well, maybe we should do single legs first. That's what we should, we should do. One at a time, out and then in. You can change the, the level here by taking the leg closer to the floor for more challenge or more towards the ceiling for a little less intensity. So you're gonna decide where the leg goes. Pulling it in. Add a little bit if you'd like by lifting up through the head and shoulders. You're gonna tuck your chin in real close down to the chest and look at the belly button and alternating this pull in. Breathe, exhale as the legs come in. Inhale. Keep in mind that what we talked about at the beginning, we want to stay tight in the middle like we have no breath. <sighs> We're at the end. We're trying to get the last little breath out we have. <sighs> keep breathing and keep switching one more time. We should be about even up there, so bring your knees into your chest and go ahead and give a little rest on the head. Take both of your hands and reach them down for your ankles, right? Option to keep this head down or a little more intense, add the lift through the head, tuck in the chin. Both feet are gonna go out. At the same time, arms are going overhead and then sweep around and pull in. Inhale as you go along and then exhale as you pull in. Inhale as you go along, exhale as you pull in. Keep that motion, focus on the part of the body that's not moving. So that's our powerhouse and our core, right? Extend full out and in. Hands are coming up by the head, like you have a hat. And we're taking it off, just like a nice, precise dance. Two more. All right, last time, and hold here. Right option, the head can rest, or keep it up. One leg is extended to the ceiling, and the other is on an angle. Instead of your straight leg tugs, this is designed, or intended, to get length in the hamstring. So you're gonna try to keep your legs as straight as you can, right? If that means you hold lower on the leg, then that's what you do. Pull the hold down lower, right? So tug, a little two tug, and then scissor switch the legs. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. I haven't done this in a, a week probably, and it feels so nice on the hamstrings. Get some length, right? Modify if you need to by making this a smaller range of motion. Remember, that's not the important part. The important part is not huge. The important part is 
nice and precise while focusing on the part that's not moving, the core. Remembering that breath, getting it out, drawing the bellies in. I need to grab a drink because I'm talking a lot. Keep doing that double switch. All right, last time, even yourself up if you're not already there, even up. And then hold, bend the knees and let the head drop to the ground. We'll take our chin over to one side. Why don't you bring your chin towards me? And then you're gonna take the opposite hand and reach for the ankle, right? So the way our chin is going, the opposite hand of that is reaching for the ankle, giving you a little more stretch in the neck than, than just turning to the side. Now switch sides. Look away from me, and then the hand that's towards me will grab the ankle. And back to center. Really important to get that neck stretch in there. Nice and slowly, keep the legs tight, but just slowly, super slowly drop the legs, the feet to the floor, right? and then we'll straighten them all the way out, one leg at a time. Separating your feet so that they're on the edge of your mat. So the legs are in a little bit of a V shape. Right? Hands can be out to the sides or right beside you, whichever is most comfortable. You'll notice there's a pretty big arch in the back here with the legs out straight. So we need to draw the belly button in and down, sort of trying to get this pelvis up a little bit towards the ceiling. Back doesn't have to be totally flat, but reaching that way. So we lessen the curve, no pun intended, right? So you're gonna lift your right leg off the floor, take it over and tap your left toe, bring it back to wide and drop. Other side, lift left, take it over, tap right, open back and drop. The whole time, steady here in the middle, you should also be feeling a stretch in the hip flexor, it should feel like deeper than the hip flexor. Like, like not right on top, but it feels like it's lower in there, more in the hip. A little more on the, the psoas. So draw the bellies in and cross one last time. Cross and cross. Now right leg comes up to the ceiling, all the way up, super slow, let it down. Watch the back, right? You want it to stay down, super slow, let it down. And the other side, lift up, and super slow, let it down. Oh. Staying real tight in the middle there, keep it pulled down, we'll switch to the other side. Super slow down, super slow, other side. Yikes. Let's do one more each side, these are good. Keeping the belly drawn in, making sure that you're not getting a big arch through the back, last time. Yes. Whew. All right, relax. Take a breath there. Okay, let's bend the knees. Feet flat on the floor, knees are up towards the ceiling. Arms are coming up over the head. We're gonna do a, a portion of the V sit. So we're gonna work our way up to doing both the upper and the lower, but we'll start with the upper. I'm not liking my position here. This is the first time for me doing the Pilates at my house, so. Okay, arms are up and over. Draw the belly buttons in nice and tight. Inhale, exhale. As you do, lift straight up to the ceiling. The feet might float off the floor, that's okay. Float them off. And then, nice and slowly bring one leg up at a time. Maybe it works for you to keep one leg down on the ground, no worries. That's a modification. Right, we'll unfold this together all the way down. And then again, inhale, exhale, lift up. More of a lift straight up towards the ceiling than that beginning curl that we do. Legs come up, maybe it's the other one this time, or maybe you're good with both of them. The other option would be to extend them out straight. Either way, wherever you are, then we're slowly gonna let this down to the ground and open. Ooh. All right, so you're welcome to try it with the legs straight or hit back to those bent knees. Bellies in, exhale, straight up. Oh my gosh, I think I'm getting tired already. Both of them then come, come up, one or two, and then slow down. 
I always tell my classes that I in no way claim to be perfect at all of these moves. I am working in progress as well, just like you are. Next level up, see if you can't raise the upper and the lower, keeping them straight, right? No worries of that, go back to the knee bent, inhale and exhale, straight, take your time up and unfold. And right into another one, inhale, exhale, lift, hold, down. One more time, right into another one, inhale, exhale, lift, and slow down. Big reach over the head, hold that there, and bring the hands back to the sides. Come on back up to the bent knees, right? And roll over onto your side. We're gonna be on the elbow, right? And take the knees straight out, like you're in a, just imagine that you're getting ready to do a plank. We are getting ready to do a plank, but I wanna work our way up so you know your options for modifications. So the knees can start out bent or the knees can start out straight. I recommend starting out bent and we'll work our way up, right? So bottom leg is gonna stay bent, right in line with the hip, top leg is gonna reach out, okay? Top arm, which is our right arm, will come up, holding here in the side plank. Hand can be down, kind of grounding it out there. Right? Now, at this point, if you'd like a little more, you can slide the bottom leg out till your feet are stacked. So, stacking those feet, if you can see one in front of the other, right? One in front of the other on the stack. If you'd still like to level up, stack your feet right on top of each other. The goal is here to keep these hips up, right? So if you're here, you're trying to go with level three, but your hip is sinking, then it might be better for you to back off, right? Think of it as adding weight. Form comes first over intensity or over increasing the difficulty. So you'll always just come back to where you can keep your form right. Yes. And release. Now, come back to your back. Remember which side you're doing right now, okay? Which side is down? My left side is down. That's the side I wear my watch on. My left side is down. Coming back to my back. Bring the knees into the chest. Still working on this oblique side. Take the hand that was down and make it out wide, right towards the front. Both feet are gonna go back to the floor and then we're gonna bring that side, same leg as arm out, is gonna come in and you're gonna rotate over. Right, exhale. Inhale, let it down. Exhale, rotate over. Inhale, let it down. And exhale, rotate over. This is not fast, this is slow. Blow out all the air, because we're looking for the contraction that comes when you're at the end of your breath. Inhale long, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Ah, so maybe if you're home, right, and no one's right next to you, you're a little more comfortable letting out your breath than if you were in a class, so let it out. Last time, exhale. Inhale down. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go reverse. So we're gonna do the knee and oblique twist first, then we'll go to the side plank. So the other hand goes out and the other knee in, right? So we're on the opposite side. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Feel free if you want, you can add to extend that leg. Inhale long, exhale out. Inhale long. Keep going with that side. Keep it in mind you're precise, right? You're super precise, focusing on the breath. It's not real fast, it's controlled and slow. Keep going with the exhale. Check my notes here, make sure I've got, getting my, what I wanna get in, get in. How is everybody doing, right? So I'm not expecting a whole, too much of feedback right this second because we should be doing our crosses. Cross and exhale, so last time. 
one or two more. I'm actually going to flip sides just so you can see one or two more and then release that down. Now turn yourself onto your other side, side elbow plank. Good. All right. Start with those knees bent and they're straight. The reason I want you to be straight is because if we pull them in here and then plank, right, we're not going to be in the right position. So we want to pull them back, squeeze the glutes here in the back a little bit, push the hips to the front, top leg goes out, arm reaches and lift. Take this elbow, press the floor away. So you're lengthening in between the shoulders and the hip is lifted. If you'd like next level up, stagger your feet. And next from here would be to stack the feet. Remember our goal, the hips are lifted. So if you feel like the hips are starting to drop, take a modification so that you can hold it. Keep holding, keep holding. And breathing. A couple more seconds and then slowly let the hip down. We'll turn onto our belly. So our palms are down. Elbows are in close to the chest area. Right, elbows in line with the chest and they're squeezed in tight as well. A little bit of a cobra here. So inhale as you press up. This will give us length in the front of the body and some strength in the back and then down. Not something we do very often, right, back bends. Inhale, lift. While you're here, draw your lower abs in and try to push your pelvis into the ground. It's really more like your pubic bone. And then down. Do that again. Inhale, drive the pubic bone in and down. Awesome. Okay. Working on the back side of the body. It gets neglected quite a bit. because Most people like to spend a lot of time working on that front. But the back is so important. And important for us to try to even it out. We're going to take the hands out to the front and your thumbs up. I know this is hard to see, so let me turn this way. Thumbs up. Now, I want you to watch me one time. My thumbs are up, drawing the belly up and in. I'm going to bring my hands to my side. No rotation in these shoulders at all, right? Thumbs are up. Thumbs are up. Thumbs are up. Thumbs are up. All right. All right. Tuck your chin. If you want to look to me, you got to look to the side. So we'll make sure we're not here, right? Chin down, draw the bellies in off the mat and then squeeze your glutes, pull your shoulder blades down your back and release again up towards the back. Drop the head. Chin is down. Keep going. Let me turn to the side. So in case you need to see a couple that way, Right. Thumbs up. I need to be a little further away, but then I'm just too far away. Thumbs up, chin's tucked, and drop. Belly's away from the mat, so we're opposite this time. Lift and down. Two more like that. Up and one more. And lift and down. All right, take your palm over palm and rest your forehead down on your palms. Where are we at? Okay. We got time. Release any tension that you have here in the glutes. Shift the hips side to side. Releasing that tension there. All right. So another round of those. A little bit different this time. I need two mats. <laughs> All right. Thumbs are up. Bellies are in. We're going to lift up one side back, then the other side back, then down. Ooh, that's harder. All right, draw the bellies up and away and go ahead and lift. One side rotates. Watch your hand. Look at your thumb. Turn and go with it and then down. Do that again. Thumbs up. Always want the thumb up. That's a good thing to think of. When you're going to the side, always want the thumb up. Anytime that thumb turns to a thumb down, even though you're trying to, you know, kind of go around, no good. Thumb up the whole time. Continue. Belly's in. Lift. One side. 
and the other side. So you're squeezing through your glutes to get those feet up off the floor. Gosh, middle of the back is working. It's working, it's working. Last time, even yourself up if you're not already there. And then again, rest, forehead down. Bring your toes onto the floor and then wag your heels back and forth here. Right, again, that just takes the hips and shuffles them side to side, releasing the pressure that might be on the low back. <sighs> Feet down, take a nice breath here. One more time. Okay, bend your knees and then walk them to the outside of your mat. So I'm making a V right now. My knees are the outside of my mat and then my feet are gonna fall together. Feet fall together. I'll turn. I don't wanna turn the other way because it'll be. So I look like I'm a little frog here. My knees are out, you can't really see that either. But I'll put my head up here, here they go. So you can see my knees are out, my feet are together. My head is gonna rest down totally. Right, unless I wanna to turn to the side to see what's going on. All right, knees out, feet together, belly buttons in, right, and squeeze your glutes, lift the knees off the floor, the quads off the floor, and then back down. Again, lift those up and down. Belly buttons are away from the mat, but the pelvis is really gonna push down into the mat here to get these up. Keep going. So depending on how used to you are these exer this exercise particular, this one here, it's gonna that's gonna determine how much movement you get, right? How big a range of motion. If you're just starting out in this reverse frog here, the range of motion can be really small. It takes some practice for the muscles to get used to how they're supposed to fire and work in order to lift that up, right? You really gotta draw in. Do a couple more of those. One more time. Yikes. And down. All right, let those legs go out. Heads are down, bend the knees, and then wag the feet side to side here, like windshield wipers. So we're washing the window right here, washing the windshield. Hopefully our wipers work better than our car wipers most of the time there. I don't want to work. All right, let this go out. Whew. Okay, one more for this position here and then we're gonna get to some legs. Take your hands, once again, slide them back. So they're gonna be by your chest, your elbows are sucked in really tight to your waist. This is this little crocodile look. Not for long though, draw the bellies in. Inhale and lift yourself up and hold here. Okay, draw and engage from the bottom, so it's like you're trying to bring that, bring the pelvis off of the floor a little bit. Whew. We're gonna release one hand and walk forward, and the other one, forward. More, forward, forward, again, so we go all the way down, down. Then the same thing, come back, walk yourself back, pelvis off, right? Make sure that we keep that pulled under and go back again. Keep the belly button drawn in. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Now, shorten your steps. A little further, a little further, down, down. Back two maybe, and down two, maybe three. Maybe one up, one down, one up, till it looks like this. Okay, remember what I said, I'm not perfect at all these, all right. This is the swan dive, so we'll hold, we've got to release, squeeze the glutes, we're gonna release the hands, out front, and back up. There you go. Down and up. Close, try a couple. That's usually good for some chuckles in class. I should wear my my zone on this and see how it's going. All right, knees up. Now let's do a down dog. Hands down, toes under, hips up into down. Big breath in and out. Oh my. Shake your head. Yes or no, release. One more breath in and out. And then let the knees come down into tabletop here. All right. 
sitting on the side, one hip, bringing the heels in close. Why don't we sit on Right. Hold them in, looking down at the ankles. Big reach up, outline the head, and look down. This is giving me some, am I still here? It's giving me some crazy messages. Inhale up, and then exhale as the other arm comes around and down. Big stretch on the side, stretch here. And then inhale, back to seated. Okay. Let's see what time we've got here. We only have, we only have six minutes left, so we're going to definitely get to the legs. I was going to do one other thing, but let's, let's not, let's skip that. Back to your side, look down your spine. All right. And see, make sure your feet are coming off of your tailbone. So if your spine were extended right from the tailbone, then it would hit right into the heels of the feet. Wait, right? come on down. We're going to work on some clams. However, this is comfortable for you in your head. Maybe you need a little pillow or a towel, or maybe you're okay being all the way down. Either way, whatever's comfortable for your neck. I'm just so used to having it up so that I can see and look out, check on everyone. We're gonna keep the heels together and open the leg. So this is the clams, right? Biggest thing you want to watch out for and pay attention to on the clam is to keep the heels together and to keep the hips stacked, right? It's not huge where we roll back and lean to the back in order to get this big movement. It's really, it's imperative that you keep the hips stacked in order for it to work what we're trying to work, right? The glutes and the hip, open and close, open and close. Typically this is a difficult exercise because we're not used to working this particular way. One more. Okay, hold there. Now I want you to lift your feet off the floor. The knees are going to be heading down towards the ground and we'll do the same thing. Open and close. You want to find maybe a little bit bigger range of motion here with the feet lifted. Open and close. Two more here. Open. Last one. Open. A little addition, open, kick, close, down. Open, kick, release, down. Open, kick, release, down. Should be feeling it in the hip, right out to the sides, kind of like those um, fire hydrants. One more time, open and close. Now hold here open. Imagine that we have a bar right here down the middle. We're going to jump over that bar, hurdle it to touch knees, and then hurdle back over to touch heels. Hurdle to knees and hurdle to heels. Again, important that these hips stay stacked. It's easier if I lean back. Yes, I can do that, but I want to make sure that I'm not. I'm stabilizing in the middle through the powerhouse. One more time. Over and close. Okay, go ahead and drop the feet and then straighten your legs all the way out. We're gonna get a little bit of inner thigh before we go and switch to the other side. So top leg, really doesn't matter which side you're laying on. The top leg is gonna come up and over to the front. Leg is gonna stay up as best that you can. If it's here on the ground, then our hips are shifted forward and we want the hips back, right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be all the way up, but at least probably parallel with the ground so that the hips remain stacked. Okay, so we'll bring it up and over, at least parallel. Flex your bottom foot, flex it, and then try to turn 
the sole of your foot up to the ceiling. Hopefully you can see that, it's hard. But you try to turn the toe up to the ceiling, invert, right? And then lift and lower, lift and lower, push and lower. Straight up and down, straight up and down. Lift and lower. Keep and going with the breath. Stabilizing through the hips and the core. You can always release this front hand. The front hand helps with balance. You release the front hand. You're going to add a little more challenge in keeping the hips stacked and the upper body steady. A couple more lifts. Usually, these are pretty small muscles. You don't have to do a ton. Just do some precise and controlled. And then hold this at the top here. A little pulse. Just a few. Make sure you're not leaning back, right? We get tired, we start leaning back. Pulse, pulse, and hold. All right, slowly drop that one. And then legs go back on top of each other. Two things. You can either flip to the other side and roll, or so that I can stay facing you, I'm going to come up and switch sides. Right? Either way, we're going to look back. Imagine that our spine pole is coming right off our um, tailbone into our heels, right? Then position the upper body down and clam open, right? Stack the shoulders, stack the hips, open and close, open and close. Ooh, this side for me is not the same range of motion, typical, right? One side is going to be better than the other. Not better, it's going to be a different different range of motion, bigger range of motion. How's it going? Sticking in here, we're almost there. What do I got? What time? Come on, watch. A couple more. Ooh, all right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We just need like a two minutes or so. All right, now hold. Lift the feet off the floor so the knees are headed down. Open here. A little bit bigger, we talked about that. A little different, open and close. Release the hand, right? A little bit extra challenge, but you're gonna have to work harder to keep hips stacked. Open, close. Take your time, doesn't have to be real fast. Okay, now open and kick, open, kick. Whew. Even my kick is not as good. Why do I keep saying good? It's not good or bad. I don't know. My kick is not as big range of motion. Open, kick, close, down. It's probably because I haven't done this in a while. One more. Okay, now let's hurdle, right? So our knee is gonna hurdle and then heel touch. Knee together, heel touch. Get over your hurdle and back. Over your hurdle and back. Two more, one more. Hurdle and back. Awesome, close those legs and then straight out they go. Let's get our inner thigh. Top leg is gonna come over, remembering to keep it at least parallel, okay? Flex the bottom foot, it comes off and then invert it. So. It's gonna turn towards the ceiling. I'm gonna show, show go them up just a little bit. So here, invert. I've got it flexed, and I'm trying to get the sole of my foot to the ceiling. Lift up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. Squeeze and down. We're almost there, right? We're just finishing up this side. We'll do two stretches. We'll do an outer thigh and an inner thigh stretch. So this inner thigh, this side on the inner thigh, feels stronger. Hold it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hold here, one. All right, slowly let that down. Stack the legs on top, and then make your way up to seated, right? Whichever, however that works best for you. 
get yourself up to seated. Crisscross. I'm trying to think what the words are getting. Oh, all jumbled up. I want to do um, a hip stretch and an inner thigh stretch. Let's do inner thigh real quick first. So open back up here, bring the soles of the feet together. That one inner thigh we just did, I had a, a minute or so to calm itself. A little rock side to side, it's just so you can get comfortable onto your sits bones. Maybe that pushes you back a little bit more. Maybe you wanna push forward a little bit more or just pull the legs in a little bit more. Nice big breath, inhale, exhale. You're gonna come forward a little bit, right? Trying not to round through the back, but just stay nice and tall through the crown of the head. I know, I keep saying, one more minute, one more minute. That's what we do. We lie. Whatever we can do, right, to get you to finish, get you to the finish line. Okay, up. All right. Both legs out front. This is a real safe way to get into the hip stretch. Cross one ankle over the opposite knee and pull that up into the chest. Flex this top foot here. Let's bring it all over the place. Flex it. Oh, I got some crazy light coming in. And lift your chest towards your shin, right? The more you lift your chest towards your shin, the deeper the stretch you're going to feel here. I could stay here all day. But I know, I told you, one more minute. Right, slide it out, switch sides, cross over, and bring that back. Ooh, chest towards your shin, flex this top foot. That's important to make sure that the knee is not being twisted. This one is really good, like you could stay here. Maybe you can do some more later. All right, we'll uncross, crisscross here. Big breath up. And exhale down. We didn't do a lot of twists today. Inhale up and exhale down. We're gonna make sure we'll get that in next week. Front and back, inhale and exhale. Exhale and hold. Drop those arms and ear over. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them in the comments and I'll get to them. Other side. Don't forget to check out our schedule what's today's wednesday it's just day as we've been calling it um and up to the top all right one last breath in the hands come to heart center thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope that you enjoyed the class again any questions um comments suggestions please let us know schedule is out right today is the first day of this this next rotation I'll be back on Friday for Active Spirit. I have Pio on Saturday and then Gentle Yoga on a Sunday. Um, hope to see you there or any of our other great classes by the rest of the crew. All right, I'll take a quick look, see if we have any questions right now. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you for joining. Any feedback, let me know. I'd be love to hear from you guys. I hope to get back uh, doing some in clubs, in club recordings soon. Right. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, thank you, Maya. Oh, I miss everybody. Miss you guys. All right. I'm going to sign off. Love you. Have a great night. Bye-bye, <laughs> Facebook.